Hello YouTube. This is Dr. Vibe, a learning point. Now let us study the regimen that is used for the treatment of malaria. So suppose a person has done a test, malarial test, which will give you a result. Now the result can be broadly classified into two categories. One, it is positive for plasmodium vivax. And second, it is negative for plasmodium vivax. Now what can be the second scenario? Positive for plasmodium falciparum. Otherwise, there can be mixed infection. So this can be the possibility of the test that you have done. Now if the test is positive for plasmodium vivax, then the regimen is chloroquine for 3 days plus primaquine 0.25 mg per kg for 14 days. Clear? Now, if there is a case of chloroquine resistant malaria, then that will be similar to plasmodium falciparum because we know that plasmodium falciparum is resistant to chloroquine. Why is it resi resistant to chloroquine? Because chloroquine is used in the hypnozoid phase and plasmodium falciparum do not have the hypnozoid stage in their life cycle. So, in the case of chloroquine sensitive, sorry, chloroquine resistant cases or in the case of plasmodium falciparum, we have a different regimen. In this, for the northeastern states, NE means northeastern states, we have ACTAL plus Prima Queen on the second day. And for other states, except northeastern states, we have ACTSP plus Prima Queen on the second day. Now, what does ACTAL, ACTSP mean? I'm writing down here. See, ACT means Artemisivir combination therapy. Okay. Artemisivir combination therapy. Now, AL. L here stands for lemividine. And S here stands for sulfadoxan. So, in case of northeastern states, you're going to have the artemivisir combination therapy. That is, it includes artemivisir drug, it includes lemividine. And on the second day, you're going to give primaquine. Whereas in other states, you have to give ACT along with SP. That is artemivisir along with sulfadoxine. And you have to give primaquine on the second day. Okay? If there is a case of mixed infection, then what will you do? Then the case is for northeastern states, you have ACT, AL plus primaquine for 0.25 milligram per kg for 14 days. So what is the difference? Instead, only on the second day, you have to follow this regimen. You're going to follow this regimen. And for other states, you have ACTSP plus Primaquine 0.25 mg per kg on set for 14 days. Now, mixed infection implies that this can be both Falciparum and Vivax. So, Falciparum's theory is ACT that you are going to apply here. And Vivax theory is Primaquine for 14 days 0.25 mg per kg that also you are going to apply here. So, this is the regimen of malaria that is being followed. One more thing that I would like to add is that this ACTAL, this is used for three days. Same here. And the Prima Queen that is used here, like here it is 0.25 milligram. Here the Prima Queen is one dose that is 45 milligram. If you find all these videos useful, then please do like, share and subscribe. It means a lot.